Hi, my friends. This is Salim coming at you with another uh, Tabula Rasa update. I'm sitting in the main set where the majority of the movie happens, and I thought it would be fun to kind of give you a little sneak peek of the location. It's small, but it really does work well for the uh, entire shoot. This is basically the hotel room where the action takes place. So taking a look around, you can see this really small kitchenette actually has a really pivotal scene for uh, one of the supporting characters. Uh, moving around here, and you can come around and see this sort of uh, living room for the suite. Uh, the clock gives us a sense of the passage of time uh, in this, the uh, show as uh, we use it sort of to mark how long it takes for everything, the fixing, the cleaning to actually occur. Uh, this place really does give great uh, hotel vibes. It really does feel like you are inside a uh, kind of vacation space. And so we have here the scene of the crime, uh, which really does have a great feel of a hotel room. So as you see, I am not, it's not like there's a ton of stuff here, but uh, the set and the uh, director is able to make an incredible amount happen in this relatively tiny space. <clears throat> I've learned an incredible amount this week. I really wanted to share something about uh, the beauty of writing and creation that I've, I've sort of been experiencing this week. So, as I said, I spent years on this screenplay. I've from the beginning when it was a 10 page vague idea to uh, when it became a 90 something page uh, feature length film to when I pared it down to a 25 page short story, short screenplay to where it finally came now, which is about 40 something pages, which is longer than a typical short film, but obviously not the length of a feature. It's gone through lots of iterations. And it's gotten, I think, better and better, tighter and stronger uh, each uh, iteration, each draft, each cycle. Despite all of that work, there was still ample opportunity to discover things that I didn't know existed or could exist within the story. And the reason I didn't discover them is because I'm just one person. Uh, yes, this is my baby, but uh, the actors discovered a tremendous, a gold mine of things that I just couldn't have anticipated or considered. Uh, you know, part of the filming, we will do several takes with the dialogue as is, and then we do one or two takes with some improvised lines. And so the actors who have uh, been inhabiting the roles for uh, some of them for a year or more. They came up with some awesome uh, ideas, awesome little uh, thoughts that we went with and uh, changed scenes to take into account the ideas that presented themselves. And, and it's really, there's something wonderful about this because there's a tremendous amount of beauty in polishing a diamond and trying to get every facet as clear uh, as you possibly can. There's also something incredibly beautiful in discovering something new. There are sort of two different types of beauty. And this collaborative process of making a movie allows you to uh, harness both kinds of these uh, types of beauty. My thoughts and words combined with each of their genius 
uh, has led to m uh, character arcs for ca for characters that I didn't quite consider. Interesting little discoveries that have some really uh, phenomenal potential, and even uh, ideas that have helped me germinate future storyline ideas. Uh, questions around family and uh, characters' past that I hadn't gotten around to thinking about. Well, now I have some ideas that just really resonate with me and will uh, help me to continue to create this story. There was a moment that I was worried about being able to come up with uh, a sequel or the next uh, part of this story because I thought, well, I can't really commit another four years to making the next story. Uh, what I've realized is that I don't have to spend all of that same amount of time because A, a lot of that was sort of fear that was keeping me from trying to continue this and, and I think that I've gotten past that point. But the other thing is I now have partners in the creation. I can write whatever I can come up with and now I can hit up the actors and I can hit up Alberto the director uh, and say, hey, I've got this idea. Here's the basics of what I'm going for. Here's a couple of lines of dialogue. What do you think? What can you add to this? And uh, I can mine their thoughts as well uh, to enrich me. You know, uh, there's scenes in this that I never had come up with, where Alberto said, "You know what would be great? This story, what this story needs, something that, uh, visual where we see uh, some outside scenes where Cross, the protagonist, is interacting with X, Y, and Z." And, you know, I thought, honestly, I don't really think that this is the right way to go, but I want to give Alberto what he asked for. And it turned out to be one of the funniest and most enlightening scenes that in a million years I never would have come up with. So now that I really understand that this does not have to be a solo journey, that this is in essence now a collaboration, not only is it easier for me to do the writing, I'm really looking forward to continuing to write this story because I know that I have someone to collaborate and share with. And you know, honestly, I think that that is probably something that uh, makes people afraid of attempting to engage in creative work is the loneliness aspect of it. The idea that, that you know, you must suffer alone in a studio writing poetry or, or painting or whatever. I don't think that you have to. I mean, yes, there's going to be moments where you have to put in the work on your own, but at the same time, the joy of this stuff is that you're sh you're sharing. I mean, the, the, this has to be a collaborative effort in the sense that you are looking to share this with the world. So it makes sense that at the very least, you share it with people that you like and who care about your work, and you can gauge them and see whether they like the ideas or whether it excites them. So you, it gives you a an impetus to move forward and uh, a direction that can help guide you closer to this end goal where uh, your work is ready to be shared. All right, I think that's uh, gonna wrap it up for today. I'm really excited. Tomorrow is uh, Friday and we are wrapping. We're shooting uh, an alternate ending tomorrow and sort of catching these moments of wherever we need to uh, fill in gaps and anything that uh, needs to be corrected where maybe lighting wasn't good or uh, there's some continuity errors. But otherwise, this thing is, knock on wood, in the can. I can't wait to share this with you and all of the uh, 
the direction in which this is going and, and being able to premiere this sometime in the new year.